we have to prepare for this frost coming, guys. I'm going to be taking all the peppers off, even the green ones. And I'm going to be cutting these peppers down and I'm going to be over overwintering them and putting them in the greenhouse. So that next season, spring, I'll have quite a head start in the pepper department. And Nathan, Nate's going to be taking down the tobacco and all the leaves so they don't get damaged. The cabbages are popping up nice. Looking good. Oh, look! Ha! <laughs> onions! My onions are popping up. That is so cool. All over, look. This one. Perfect. That's great. Soaking them really does make a difference. <laughs> so green taba Tabasco peppers are not that spicy. Not spicy enough. So I'm gonna be mixing them in with my Carolina Reapers to give them a kick, you know? We don't do no haban, what do they call? Habanados? Or? Jalapenots? Ha ha I don't know what they call them. <laughs> yeah, they call them habanados and Jalapen, hobba hollow, I don't know. <laughs> we like our heat around here. I think those habanados are, it's like having Mardi Gras without beads and king cake. Just taking all the fun out of it. <laughs> That's my opinion. All right, let's get this going. The green ones definitely don't come off as easy. This is my little spider friend. She's an orb weaver. I call her Charlotte. She was over there on the tobacco she decided to move. Lily helped me and we were able to pick the peppers. It's quite heavy. <laughs> and I take it back that the green ones aren't spicy because they are spicy. It's like a tip of your tongue type of spice. Not sure if I like it, but we'll see. When I, I'm going to ferment these and I'll see if it's my thing. My neighbor likes the green Tabasco peppers, so maybe I'll give him some. And Nate was able to harvest all the tobacco worth harvesting. Now with the green stuff, he said we can ferment it or make a Cavendish. So we'll be experimenting with that. I've been just cutting down all the tobacco and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. Probably compost it. Cause I can't really give it to the chickens. They can get sick. I guess nicotine or that can make them get, they can get poisoned. So I don't want to be poisoning my chickens. So I'll be doing something else with that. But I think I'm gonna save two of these Tabasco peppers. I've got one here, and then my healthiest one is back over here. And I didn't, we didn't pick off the, all the peppers on that one. I just was kind of done picking peppers. <laughs> I got enough. So this is my first time doing this. You'll learn with me as we go. My real loppers are out of order at the moment. Nathan needs to take them to work for me and clean them up, so I'm going to use these thingamajigs that are not meant for this, but they work. So basically, I want to take this thing down to kind of a Y shape. I'm going to take up the root system carefully. In fact, I need to go get a spade for that. We're just going to get this thing to be in a dormant state in the greenhouse. system up without shocking it, right? You know what I'm gonna do first? I'm gonna cut it down because it's kind of stuck in this thing. It'll be easier to dig around it. Now these I can give to the chickens. Oh, shoo shoo. Darn yellow 
jackets. Okay. All right, there we have it. We don't want any of this green, so take all this off. Now I can rip this guy up and get it out of the way. And store it for next year. I actually have a use for those in the greenhouse for a little experiment I'm doing. I'll be showing that to you guys much later, probably in the spring. You know, for it gonna be so cold soon here, it definitely doesn't feel that way. It's pretty hot today. Oh, I'm starting to feel it give a little bit. Hello, Roly Poly. This guy has some big roots. I'm surprised. Alright. Here I am. There you have it. So basically. We're gonna put this in a pot with some dirt, with some soil. And I think I'm gonna cut this little guy down more. I'm gonna keep two of my Tabasco peppers and two, the, I only have two habaneros. Next year I'm just gonna do two Tabascos and I would like to probably do four habaneros, a lot more cayenne, and then a lot more paprika. Mm -hmm. There you have it, we've got one. Got a few more to do. And of course we'll water these guys a little bit. I won't need to water them much because they're gonna be in a dormant state. give that guy that I just took up water right now and keep it from getting shocked. I prefer not to rip up my plants. Obviously with the ones I'm saving I had to but for the most part, I like to just leave that root system in there in the ground and I'll just let it, you know, rot down and that will break down into the soil. I don't like having to disturb my soil when I don't have to. Cabbage is coming in nice. And look, my first little viola is starting to blossom. Pretty, huh? Can you see? This is a purple cauliflower that I that came it came back from last year. Isn't that neat? It's gonna be pretty. Okay, we got them all. <laughs> this one's kind of sideways, you see. These these peppers are pretty substantial and they had very 
tough, big root system, so hopefully they do okay. <laughs> but I got to my cabbages and dill and all that over here. That are gonna be going out. And filling in these rows. You see, I've got some cabbage in here mixed in, but I wanna kinda fill it out. I want my fall winter garden to be full. So yeah, any gaps, we'll be filling it in with all the cabbage that I have in my greenhouse. For now, I've got a ton of azaleas and hydrangeas that I need to put into the greenhouse. I'll show you that it's kind of tedious <laughs> but we will go into the house and I need to take these peppers and tobacco in <sighs> and grind up some fermented peppers that are ready and I wanted to show you that so let's go it's satisfying bringing baskets full of things from the garden that we've grown I love it one of the things I want to do today is we ran out of the hot sauce that I love, the fermented hot sauce. So I'm going to go ahead and grind up some more. I'm going to show you how I do that. Let me grab one over here from the cupboard. I generally need, I think two. Let me see which one is um, older. If you look here, see how the garlic is kind of turning a bluish green? You might see that and go, ooh, I don't want to eat that. When I first saw it, I was like, what is happening with my garlic? But this is a pretty normal thing. Anytime you put garlic in, a, in an acidic environment, it will start to turn blue, greenish color. This will happen also if you pickle garlic a lot of times. It will turn a funky color. But anyway, it's fine. It's not going to hurt you. Doesn't taste any different. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and empty these guys out, get all of the water out of them, and then I'm going to grind them up in my blender. I don't have a super fancy blender, you guys. So, well, you'll just have to see to shake the, I have to shake this thing to get it to really do what I want it to do. But anyway, let me get this water out of here. I need to find a useful purpose for the water. I don't know what to do with it. That's really on there. Whoa. <laughs> There's a lot of bubbles coming out. Those pebbles. Some active ferment there. Good stuff. Good for your gut. All right. Oh, smells delicious. Y'all, this one is, oh goodness, it's like two months old. I wanna say this is one of my older ones. All right. So now that we didn't explode, this water. <coughs> oh god, peppers. Spicy. Okay. Y'all ready for this? Let's do it. Now if some water is in there, that's okay. Not gonna hurt anything. It generally takes about 
two of these half a gallon fermented jars to fill this up. We'll see. And honestly, I will go through, well, Nate and I will go through one of these and Lily likes it too, like in a month. Yeah, in a month. We like our spicy around here. All right, I'm gonna grind a few more up and we'll fill this guy up all the way. This one is a little bit more red because of the Tabasco peppers. I've never mixed them before, so this could be interesting. Oh, yeah, I guess we're about to here. We don't need a third one. delicious I love this stuff <laughs> I can't get enough of it honestly I'm gonna go ahead and make some pumpkin chocolate chip cookies we're gonna have movie night tonight and I got Nathan and I some let me see if I can say this right mold mold cider okay <laughs> every time I say this it sounds like I'm saying mold cider I came home and I got this stuff for Nate and I to enjoy this evening and <laughs> I thought I was saying mold cider but I'm not Mold, 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 mold cider. That sounds better. Mold, maybe. <sighs> anyway, we're gonna enjoy some cider and some pumpkin chocolate chip cookies for kind of a dessert tonight while we do movie night. Thanks for hanging out with me today, y'all, and we'll see you next time. Tomorrow? Don't you dare ruin your crown. <laughs> and she's gonna eat it. Yeah. Well, almost there she goes. Really pretty, though. Pretty little crown. <laughs> it's just made up.